she can no longer continue to accept unquestionably the ideas and the views of society. She wants to discover herself what's right and what's wrong. She is not prepared to accept even the teachings of religion blindly. She would go out into the world to gain first-hand experience of life and to find out whether she is right or uh, society is right. Okay. Now, still we are in Act 3. She must test the traditional ideas of society by her own experience. She tells her husband that his treating to her as his property and as a doll is a traditional way of treating a wife. But that she wants to find out her own potentialities. She would not mind even leaving her children in order to arrive at her own conclusions about life from her first-hand experience of it. Helmer tries to change her mind, to dissuade her from leaving him and her home. He was surprised and he discovered that he was mistaken. And he tried to correct that mistake uh, by uh, keeping his wife in the house. He discovered that he has a, a very precious wife, a very good wife, and now he is trying to correct that mistake. So he, he tries to change her decision about leaving the house. And he repeatedly appeals to her not to leave. He asks her many times, do not leave, but her mind, as we said, is made up. Nura now is not the same Nura. Nura now has decided to leave and no one can uh, uh, convince her to uh, to change to change her her mind so but her mind is made up she says that no more scared uh, no more sacred than her duty to her husband and to her children is her duty of herself. She takes back from Helmer the wedding ring she had given him at the time of the marriage and she then makes her exit from the house slamming the door behind her. Now it was a final decision he failed to convince her to stay she did not change her mind. She did not change her decision. She decided to leave and she did. And before leaving the house, she uh, took uh, the, uh, the, uh, the wedding ring, the wedding ring, uh, which she uh, had given him uh, at the time of marriage. And she took, uh, she took hers, okay? Which means that now she has no relation with him. This is the message she wants to uh, tell him. She wants to tell him that they are not married anymore. They are not a wife and husband anymore. It's over. That bond is broken now no more of the previous days, no more of being married to him again. And she decided to leave him, uh, even to leave her uh, children, three children, as we said that uh, they have two boys and a girl, right? Okay, now, uh, do you think that that decision is a good one or a bad one? I, I wish if we could uh, discuss this uh, together. I hope, inshallah, we can 
discuss this uh, during the live sessions that we are going to have. So Nora le leaves her home, her husband, and even her children in order to establish her own identity and individuality in uh, the world and in order to form her own ideas and opinions. Her action is a symbol of a liberation of the individual from the traditional bonds and restraints under which the individual uh, suffers and which hinder his uh, development. But more than that, the drastic step taken by Noura was at the time a trump call to the women of the time to assert the rights and not to continue as the property of their husband. Now, the play has a message. What is the message of the play? Uh, it is in, in the final act that the message of the play becomes clear to us, even though Epson himself denied it. The last discussion between Nora and Helmer in this act clearly shows that the real theme of the play as the rights and the duties of a woman. Nora's decision at the end is intended to show that a man has no business to treat his wife as an item of his property or a position of his. Of his. A woman has a mind of her own and an individuality of her own, she needs a favorable environment in which she can think for herself and can make her own wishes known to her husband. She should not be taken for granted by her husband. Helmer has shown himself to be a complete egoist a self-centered man, a self-complacent husband who thinks that a wife is intended to be sure. Uh, his wife complete is intended to be a source of worth and uh, comfort in the house and that all the matters is the husband ideas, opinions and tastes to which a wife must conform. Nora, by her bold action at the end, shows that she is not the conformist type of wife, or that she has been a conformist for too long a time, and that she is not prepared to continue in that role. The play's advocacy of feminist independence becomes manifest in this act. Now, we have uh, some model questions, as we said, at uh, the end of a doll's house, Nora has discovered her, she discovered her what? Her own car, her own house, her own doll, her own identity. Of course, the correct answer is that Nora has uh, discovered her own identity. Okay, with this we come to the end of this lecture, lecture number seven. I hope you uh, enjoyed it the same as I did. And inshallah soon we are going to meet in our eighth uh, lecture. Thank you very much to all of you and uh, wish you a very pleasant day, whether in the morning or in the evening. And uh, see you inshallah uh, uh, soon and Lecture number eight. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.